Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Stephen Kravitz, we like talking to Steve once a week and finding out what's happening. How you doing out there and the, up the, up there or over to the side or somewhere in Massachusetts? I'm doing okay, you know, just trying to stay warm. Also, I turned 65, so now I'm trying to get my COVID test, Oh, my COVID uh, vaccine. You know, here in New York, they lowered the age to 60. Right. Yeah, so... But uh, yeah, you just sign up for it. You're 65. Go get it. And, That's what I plan and, to do. And by the way, happy birthday. When was the birthday? It was Saturday, March 6th. And what did you do for your birthday? I went out to eat with some friends. Really? Okay. Yeah. Would you all wear masks and stuff? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, good. Good. Happy birthday to you. Happy uh, happy joining. You're a senior now, I guess, huh? I am an elder caca. <laughs> elder caca. Yeah. How, how how is it up there? Is it getting any better uh, with the whole? It's it's warm. What you mean with the COVID? With the COVID and everything else. Well, the weather's warm this week. Next mm. week's supposed to be cold again. Mm-hmm. So so this week is okay, and the COVID numbers are dropping here. Okay, that's good. Coming down, they're opening up more and more stuff. They're not dropping here particularly. We 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 still have a high level of deaths up around I don't know in the sixties or something like that, maybe higher. Uh, right. It did go down. Now it's going back up again. I don't know. You know, but is I'm. That, is that just in New York City or is that New York State? New York State. New okay. York State. Uh, our governor's had some problems lately. And, really? Yeah, and so he he hasn't been able to do what he's I think got to do. You know, they took away a lot of his powers during this thing. Yeah, and, now and, they want to take away his office. Yeah, but I mean, taking away the power uh, inhibits trying to solve the problem. You know. Right. And I think, you know, overall, I mean, yes, the nursing home thing was a big gaffe. But it happened at a time when, geez, you know, there's a, um, uh, we, we didn't know what we were doing back then. Okay? No. I think anybody would have made mistakes. Uh, and yes. especially because you were relying on what the government was telling you was accepted behavior. And, right. And, and. So, uh, you know, I don't hold that much against him on that. I think that later on he corrected everything and he saved my life. You know, I'm alive today because of measures he took back then. Right, 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 right. Same, same thing here. Same thing here, you know, Alex. That they took some really stringent, you know, hardcore lines mm-hmm. in the beginning. Yeah. You know, there was no playing around. And they saved your lives as a result yeah. of it, you know. And I mean, I don't care if you just turn sixty-five. If you're sixty-three, you're maybe in the danger zone. Sure. You know. And so, like you said, now it's anything over sixty. Yeah. Well, here in New York, I don't know about up there. No, it is. It is here too. Oh, sixty. Yep. So just as you turn sixty-five, they said, "Oh, you, you can be over 60. That's right. Does that piss you off? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, so now I gotta go fight with the website to try and get a, an appointment. Um, I guess you can just type in vaccinations Massachusetts, and it'll give you a lot of places you can go and sign up. You know. Right. 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 And they say Thursdays when they open up the most spots. Oh, really? Yes. Why is it Thursday? 
I don't know. Oh, that doesn't make doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? None of this makes a lot of sense. I, uh, you know, I mean, I think that uh, you probably, how, do, how long do they say it'll be before you can get a shot, if you can find one? I mean, is oh, it... Oh, they, 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 don't, they don't say. I mean, do they suddenly say, well, yeah, next July, you're, you're scheduled no, for next... No, they say actually next month, April. Yeah. They're going to get like 500 million new shots. Okay. All right. Well, maybe you can get one before then, you know. If I can, I can. If not, then I'll, I'll wait till April. But once you get them, see, the good thing is that once you get them now, the CDC is saying that once you have both shots, or in the case of uh, Johnson & Johnson, the one shot, right. you can start hanging out with other people who have also been vaccinated. That's right. You know, which is good. You know, it's, it's great. It's funny. I, I wish that I had something else to talk about in a lot of cases than this particular subject. Because I talk continually about this subject, but this is, I think, the most, imp the biggest subject of our time. Oh, I, absolutely. You know, I can't think of anything else that has impacted us as much as this has impacted us and will establish our behavior in the future. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. You know, there you are know, no, no matter what, even with the, the vaccine or not, you're still going to have to wear a mask. Do you remember anything in your lifetime that even approaches this? I mean, I can think of something that kind of did approach it, and that was polio when I was a kid. Right. Like, like we've talked about, I have a friend that had polio. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, and I... Um, uh, I remember as a kid worrying about getting polio. My parents actually worried about it more than I did, you know. Sure. Don't go in that pool. Don't do this. Don't do that. They, right. And they didn't know what caused it, you know. Right, right. Uh, and, and I remember living during that, but that wasn't as scary as this. No. I, you know? Because this is mutating. This is, this is beyond our, our comprehension. Well, also, I think it's because when I was a kid, I didn't, my concept of the danger of polio, while I knew it was out there and I knew kids who had it, it just didn't strike me in the same way as something where I'm an old adult right, who can get COVID and die from it, okay? Right. And I'm more subject to it than, say, somebody who's younger, all right? Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, again, the same fear that I had with polio, I'm now having on this end of my life with COVID. Only this is much more deadly. Yes, but you've I, had your two vaccinations. Yeah, polio is crippling. This is this is deadly. You know, this is deadly. Yeah, you've had your two vaccinations, yeah. right? Yeah, and I'm I I feel tonight we're going out to dinner. We're going to go to a restaurant for the first time, indoor dining. There you go. We're going to do it for the first time in uh, uh, a year. At least a year, yeah, yeah. And and Marjorie wanted to. She said, "I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. We we can do it, you know." And I. That is so cool. And I I feel safe, you know. I feel that I'm if if I feel if I get it, if I were to get COVID, it would be a mild case. All right. right. And no right. nobody right. nobody who's gotten the vaccination has died. That's right. That's so, right. So that's, you know, that's the good news. They say, well, there's a more virulent strain out there. Yes, but it's still, I'm protected against that. Right, uh, you know, right. So, uh, You're good. Oh, You're yeah. Good. Yeah, I was thinking of holding a party here for just all the people we know who have had two shots. <laughs> and we can just all hang out and just be ourselves, you know? Yes. Why not do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you know anybody that's had COVID? I guess you do. No, I don't. By the way, those things that are constantly coming up in the top of my screen are, let me lower something here, then it, then it won't happen. Okay. Now, those are just notifications that I get, and it just somehow comes into the picture, and I don't want it to come into the picture. So I, Is that the guy that calls every time you're on the no, air? No, no, no. But... Uh, it's it these are notifications like you know you just got mail you just did this and it oh, was right, coming right, in, right. It, it was coming into the picture because i put it up towards that part i've i've fixed it so it won't happen now 
Uh, so Alex, just check this out. I have a gig. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Everybody, listen to this. Yeah. I have a gig. A gig. Now, for a comedian, a gig is means you're working. Show. You're working. I'm doing 10 minutes on some sort of Zoom. Oh, oh Zoom one, or other. Of, one of those things. Yeah, but still. Yeah. April yeah. 15th. What was it? Did Bub, Bub say that he uh, he was offered to do some Zoom things, and he did one, and it was so terrible that he just doesn't want to do another one. Right. Yeah. Well, this will be my first, so we'll see how it goes. Well, why don't you uh, why don't you try a little bit of your material right here? Well, I, I haven't mean, written it yet. Oh, well, this is a Zoom call. I I, I understand that, you, Alex. You haven't. But I haven't. I haven't written the material yet. Wait a minute. You've been writing the material for the last 50 years. Yeah, that's right. But I want to do some new stuff. I want to do some, because it's April 15th, so I want to do some stuff on taxes. Oh, okay. You know? Oh, okay. One of the ideas I have is using the stimulus check to pay my taxes so it just goes round in circle. You know, I don't see any of it. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Right. That uh, are you uh, well so they they zoom you, right? Right. And then what do you do? You do your your act. I do 10 minutes. You do 10 minutes. Are you going to stand up when you do it? No. <laughs> okay. So it's not like exactly a gig. A gig. Except I am getting paid. You are getting paid. Yes. I I I I'm scared to ask how much. You don't want to know. Hey, come on, tell me. Hundred bucks. Eh, that's not bad. It's something. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah. At this point, last time I worked was February twenty. What twenty twenty? Really? Yeah. That was the last time okay, I worked. Okay, so 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 wait a minute. So you're gonna get a hundred bucks for doing ten minutes. That's not bad. That's ten ten bucks a minute. Right. Right. Uh, if my if math is correct, um, so that's not bad. No, I'll take it. Yeah. Why not? I got nothing else. I got nothing else to compare it to. Right. Right. Oh no, that, that's fine. I think that's terrific. Uh, and, and, and if it goes well, maybe I'll do more. Now, what happens? You do 10 minutes, and then somebody else does 10 minutes, and somebody yeah. else does 10 minutes, and so then No, they... no, no. There's only two comics, and then there's some sort of variety stuff. Oh, okay. Who's the other comic? Do you know? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's something. It's a, it's a gig. Kind of. I mean, I don't uh, want. It's a, it's, I, a, it's a it's a semi gig. I don't want to diminish it, okay? And I won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a gig. It is you. You are getting paid for it, so I I guess it, it does meet the criteria. I had to send in an, uh, an eight by ten. I have to write up a little, uh, you know, blurb on me. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a regular gig, except I'm all alone in, in my office. Where can we see this? Well, I'll have to let you that let, let you know of that next week. And I guess do you, I guess I would have to pay for it, right? I mean, after all, they're paying you a hundred bucks, so they're planning on making money off of this. Somehow, I'll have more details next week. When oh. we talk on Wednesday, I will have more details. I will have where it's going to be airing, how it's going to be airing, and whether you can watch it or not. Because like, if it only costs like five bucks, like something like that, for me to do it, then I would just suggest that all the people watching do it and then say I did it because of Kravitz. I want to see Kravitz. Oh, more Kravitz. <laughs> Maybe the next time you get 110 bucks. With luck, knock on wood. You can hold their feet to the flame. For that extra ten bucks. For that extra, just squeeze that extra ten bucks out of them. And God knows I need it. Yeah. So what do you miss most right now? I guess going out and gigging, right? 
Yes. That would be the biggest thing you miss. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And just going out, I mean, just going out to the clubs, just, you know, hanging out with other comics, hanging out with people. That's what I miss the most. Socialization. Yes. Yeah. Now, me being very un antisocial, I don't miss people at all. So, you know, that's... that's well, I don't want to be in the crowd. I want to <laughs> be on the stage. I don't want to be, you know, in the masses. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think what I miss most of all is just that ability to go around, you know, go downtown, go see, right. you know, go to Times Square, uh, go, to, go to... Go to a movie. You know something? I don't miss that as much. And really? I And I think movies are going to have a hard time getting making a comeback, theaters, because people are used to now watching these films at home. Right. Okay. And they all got a big screen and they all got the stereo sound. You know, you right. really, you're getting the complete theater experience at home, except you're missing a few things, like some guy kicking the back of your seat. Right. Or yeah. somebody talking. Is somebody talking or a crying baby, you know, oh. and we could arrange for that. If you really miss that part of the experience, I'm sure we can put some sound effects in there to, you know. They but, just piss you off during the movie. But I don't know if movie theaters are going to come back. I don't know if I want to go sit in a movie theater. I don't know that I want to pay. You ready for this? Okay. I sit at home and even if I, let's say I, I did the most expensive thing I could do and that's buy a Disney film on the Disney Channel when it first comes out and they charge $30 for it. Okay? Really? Okay, but let's let's just say that's what I do. I'm still getting off cheaper than going to the theater for my wife and I to right. pay a total of, if it's a 3D film, okay, which in most cases it is, that's the main reason I go to a theater is for a theatrical experience, Right. Um, having to pay uh, uh, forty-two dollars for the tickets alone, then to take the uh, the uh, car, uh, car down there and back will cost me another twenty-five, and yeah. then the 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 uh, popcorn and uh, sodas are going to run me another fifteen. I'm already up to like eighty-five dollars. Yeah, uh, you're closer to a hundred. Yeah. So. And then the movie sucks. <laughs> yeah, but if you buy the movie for thirty dollars and it sucks, now what are you gonna do? Well, it's no different than if I paid eighty five and it sucks. Yeah, but like you said, you like to go to the movie for the big screen, like the big action films in three D. Mm -hmm. Like for for me, it's I like to go to the Marvel films. Yeah, yeah. You know the but, bad. But, you know, I can show you a Marvel film here at my place on a 65-inch screen with the stereo sound that I've got set up and everything, and you'll feel like you're in a movie theater. And by the way, Boy. the quality of the picture on a 4K television set is as good as it is in a movie theater because you know what they're doing there? They're projecting a video image that's in 4K. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So you're not really getting any bigger experience in the theater than you are at home. You just now. What about what about live theater? Live theater is a different thing altogether. You think that'll make a comeback? I hope so, because I think it's a wonderful thing. You know, right? I think it, it's it's wonderful that uh, uh, you, you sit in this theater and these people come out and do a live performance, and that the performance you're watching is original right oh yeah you know it's original every time it's done that's right okay it's never right. going to be exactly the same way as it was when you watched it right, right. and right. and right. in the case of a musical you got an orchestra you've got the sets you you right. know you, you and you're paying a large probably my average tickets like 150 bucks or something but yeah. You know, you, the, the, it's this thing that that is is original and particular to that moment. Right. So right. yes, I don't want to see theater go away at all. No. You know, and um, is it is it, is Broadway opening up at all yet? Not yet. No. No. Not at all. No, I don't think so. 
Uh, uh, and if they did, you know what they would do is they would say, uh, but you can only be, oh, 35 percent capacity. All right. 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 And then what are they going to have to do to accommodate that? They're going to have to charge more than they've ever charged for a ticket in order right. to just break even. Because with a movie, you're just showing a, 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 a literally a hard drive. That's what right. you're showing. Okay, what's the expense in that? There was the expense of making the movie, but there's not right. an expense in actually showing it. That's right. With a theater, there's a huge expense in doing a live performance. And so in order to break even, at least on that, they're going to have to raise the prices over and above what they are now. And I don't know if the public will put up with that. So... You know, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, it's a big question, a big question. Who knows? Well, I think tours will still go. I mean, maybe maybe locals won't go as much, but tours will still go to to Broadway. Well, we it's what we call the bridge and tunnel crowd. But then again, there were always those shows that were done for the bridge and tunnel crowd that the theater going audiences in New York didn't even go near. You well, know? like, give me an example. Oh, beautiful, the Carol King musical is a bridge and tunnel show. The thing about the Four Seasons, whatever that was called, Jersey Boys, bridge and tunnel. Jersey Boys. Bridge and tunnel show, you know. Um, but then again, you had something like Book of Mormon. That wasn't a bridge and tunnel show, you know. That wasn't something that necessarily made the out-of-towners want to go see it. But everybody right, here right, in right. New York wanted to see it because it was, you know. But so... All I'm saying is is that the bridge and tunnel crowd will always be there and shows will always be done for that bridge and tunnel crowd. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Uh, and they deserve to be entertained. But I'm just hoping theater comes back. I don't see I think the theaters will come back because they're they're original. A movie theaters, not so much. I, I think people have gotten used to not going to the movies. I think you're right. You know, when I they think can you're right. when they can sit at home and watch all the movies that are nominated this year for like uh, the awards have been like on on apps like on Netflix or Disney Plus or right, you know right, Amazon right, right. or whatever. You know, very few of them are things that just went directly into the theaters and haven't been seen anywhere else. Although I um I get DVDs from the Screen Actors Guild because I vote on the um yeah. I'm a voting member. Yeah. Well, I, I, I get the SAG, uh, you know, disc too. But all the discs, except for two discs that have come in, all of them, all of them, I've already seen because they were on Netflix or something right. like that or right, Amazon. Right, right, right. So, you know, this sending me discs that, you know, I, hey, well, I need that. I, I have this. I can watch it right now. Right, know? right, 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 right. So I just watched uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. It was a good picture. Very good picture. Yeah, really good picture. I enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, terrific. I mean, enjoyed it. It's a very serious picture, but. And then I watched, uh, what was it? The Chicago Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a Netflix production. Mm -hmm. Again, something I saw when it first came out because I have Netflix. Right, 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 right. right. So, right. you know, I mean, but uh, uh, but all these films are good films and they probably would have been released in theaters if it weren't for the for COVID. So they sold them to Netflix. Right. You know, right. Uh, and I, you know, I think they, they happen to be some pretty good films. They, the film uh, One Night and was it Night in Miami, that one. Uh, I don't know that about, one. It's about uh, it's about the uh, uh, night that actually happened in which Muhammad Ali, uh, Malcolm X, Sam Cooke, uh, who's the other uh, person? Um, uh, Bill Russell. B uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, and uh, there's one other person that was involved in that. But anyway, they all met in a hotel room in Miami. And no one knows what went on in that hotel room, but this was a play that somebody wrote and has now been made into a movie about imagining what might have gone on in that room. Right, right. And it's really a very good film. It's a very good film. I bet it's fascinating. I really enjoyed it. 
But anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time again. You know, I just, the time flies when I talk with you. It's just, you yeah, know. Yeah, it, it, it does seem to go pretty fast, doesn't it? It's a nice conversation. Well, normally I do 15 minutes with people, and in your case, I do 25. Just right. simply because it goes by so easily and breezily, and I hope I will see you again next week. I will see you on yeah, the uh, yeah. 17th. Yeah, but in the meantime, stay where you are so when we're through here, I can talk to you for a couple of minutes. Ladies Bye. and gentlemen, the person that is Steve Kravitz. See his name there? Bye, Steve. Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. The wonderful, the terrific Steve Kravitz. I really enjoy Steve. I like Steve. Uh, Steve. Steve's a great guy. He's just a great guy. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you what happened when I was. I did an interview, which you'll see tomorrow, with uh, uh, with uh, my old producer Albert Reynoso. He'll be on tomorrow night, and I did it earlier today. And the first thing I had up down on the bottom was Albert Reynoso. And then when I did the interview with. Uh, uh, Kravitz about an hour and a half later <laughs> I did the whole thing with Albert's name under his picture so I had to go in later on and block out Albert Reynoso and put Stephen Kravitz in there and I think it actually looked pretty good I think if you were watching online you probably could see uh, the, uh, the the blackness of the masking but you know, outside of that, I thought I did a very good job, but I fucked up, and that bothers me because I didn't used to fuck up like that. I'm just, it's just happening way too much, and I, um, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defer to the audience here. I'm really beginning to think maybe I should maybe stop this or back off on it or you know whatever. Uh, uh, cut down to one day a week, something like that. That I maybe I'm I'm just losing it, okay, and that I shouldn't really be doing this any longer. But we'll see. Uh, anyway, man, I'd like to get your opinion on it if you if you have the ability. But why don't we uh, start admitting these people are all waiting to talk to us, who have been waiting for quite a while, uh, and uh, here they come. I've got to uh, put this in a gallery mode. There we go. And uh, hello to everybody. How are you guys? Uh, there's Trucker Steve. There's Alan. Uh, there's uh, Brian Neary. There's uh, Charlie Wallace. And, of course, the ever-popular Jeff Stein, who's up there in Connecticut. As they That's pronounce. right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. How are you all doing this evening? Good. Good. Yeah, you're all doing all right. Okay, good, terrific. Um, so uh, what's what's new? Is there anything new? Is there anything in the news? I, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, Jeff. Fourteen hundred dollars. I went on my bicycle today. You went on your bicycle today? Outside. Outside. You took yeah. a bike ride. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. I haven't nice. done that in. Months. I What's walked. Temperature? I walked a total of four blocks today. There you go. Okay. I'm starting. What's the temperature over there? Uh, the temp temperature is like, I think it was in the about 52 or something today. It, it was better yesterday. It was like up into the 60s. It was getting really nice. You know. 82 in Austin. 82 in Austin. Yeah. Oh, oh well, that should kill the coronavirus. Boy. And humid. Well, <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, in Houston. That wasn't that humid. It isn't. It, it gets, you know where it gets humid? Houston gets humid. God, you know, I never could. In the whole time I lived in, in Houston, Texas, I couldn't keep a crease in my pants. <laughs> you know. I wonder why. Maybe because it's right next to the ocean? I, 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 is it next to the ocean? Is it Houston? Not an ocean. No, there's a, there's the uh, the bay there. You know the, the Gulf. There's the yeah. Gulf. Yeah, Gulf, Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, the Gulf of Mexico. So you know it's it gets very humid there, and uh, um, you know in fact in Houston you didn't really go out for a walk. You know you get in your car, but you you know 
you would never go out for a walk, you know, at least during the summertime. Wow. But, I don't not know how people lived there before air conditioning. Um, I don't know either. When I first got there, they first started putting air conditioning in cars. And so when I bought a car there, I got it with air conditioning built in. Well, they didn't build it in. In those days, you know, not, now you have air conditioning. It's just part of the car. In those days, it was like a thing that hung under your dashboard yeah. and was, a, was an air conditioning <laughs> unit. Uh, and uh, that, but the, you know, that kept you pretty cool. But before you would that, get... they had the, the swamp cooler. Before that, they had the swamp cooler. On the side oh, of the window. Well, those were like, uh, what do they call them? They were swamp cooler. They, they called the swamp sw cooler. Swamp coolers, but what they did is they had water in them, didn't they? Ice. Ice. They put ice yeah. in them, and then it yeah. cooled through, and it pushed into the car. Right. Right. But it didn't uh, cut the humidity. Hmm. It, it, air conditioning takes humidity out of the air. A swamp cooler <clears throat> puts it in. Um, uh, well, it's meant to keep you cool. What I had, uh, when I was living in San Francisco, I had a studio and the studio would kind of get hot from the lights. Okay. We didn't have lights like we have here now. These are LEDs. They don't get hot. Okay. So I can get them as bright as I want and it's not going to, you know, it's not going to affect me. But, uh, uh, it was, um, uh, it was very hot in the studio. And because it was hot in the studio, uh, I had to have some kind of air conditioning, but I couldn't put air conditioners in the windows because my windows were not the windows that go up and down. They were the windows that go out. And it's impossible to put air conditioning in that kind of window. <clears throat> so I went out and I got, uh, what, what is it? You, you filled it with water. And then it, it kind of cooled the air in the room. It didn't get really icy cold, but it got cool. But then you have to constantly fill it up, fill the tank up, so that you could keep being cool. It was, it was a mess. There was no way I could keep really cool. On a really hot day, I was literally sweating on the air. So it was, it was not easy. But San Francisco doesn't usually get that hot. It was just the studio had a tendency to get hot. So Anyway. Yeah, crazy weather here. Today in Santa Clara, it snowed. Well, it wasn't snow, snow. I think it was more hail, but it was all over the streets. Really? Yep. It looked like of, snow. Yeah, cold weather, and uh, the rain was just – we came back um, on the freeway. You couldn't see the East Hills. You just see this wall of water coming down. It's crazy. Wow. Probably seen everywhere else, but California, we don't see that. We need it. Hmm. Hmm. Where, where are you right now, uh, Trucker Steve? Where are you? In his truck. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Part of uh, <laughs> Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. How's the weather there? Indiana. Uh, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Really? Wow. Wow. Still here on my watch, it's 48 degrees in uh, New York City right now. And this yeah, has been... My load. I was originally going to go to Sparks, Nevada, but now I'm going to... Uh, Tempe, Arizona. Tempe, Arizona. Sparks, Which Nevada. Which is good because I'm, there's supposed to be a I snowstorm this around. weekend mm -hmm. going through uh, Nebraska and Wyoming. So now I, I avoid that. Now, what, what, is, what is in Sparks, Nevada, uh, outside of the fact that it's the gateway to Reno? Uh, we have a few customers there. Yeah. Um, Sherwin Sherwin Williams Paints. Do you know who works for Sherwin Williams Paints? Yep. Do you ever see Josh who calls this show? Yeah. He works for Sherwin Williams Paints, but not oh. in uh, not in uh, uh, not in Sparks. Sparks. Yeah. <clears throat> Sparks. He's in Ohio. Sparks was always the little Reno, is what it was. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, it's, it's about what, 25 miles outside of Reno, I think something like that. Not far. Uh, I think it's closer. I think it's the next city over. It is the next city over that I know. You know? Yeah. And what, what, always, what I always remember as a kid was Sparks is where the Harris automobile museum was. Oh, really? Sparks. Yeah. Okay. Bill Hera, the guy that started Harris casino mm -hmm. in Reno. Oh. 
yeah. had an automobile collection. Right. Big automobile. Nice old, nice old, yeah, a lot. Yeah, hundreds. and there's one other thing that's out near Sparks. The Mustang Ranch. Uh, the Bunny Ranch, yeah. Well, no, the Mustang Ranch. Bunny really? Ranch. I think the Mustang Bunny. Ranch is, I think Sparks is to the, to the north or east of Reno, and I think Mustang Ranch is to the east of Reno, whatever. Something like that. I would, yeah, it's they're all in the same area. Okay, okay. let me put it this way: Sparks, is, forward, Sparks huh? is close enough to the Mustang Ranch that you can smell it from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you ever go, Alex? To the Mustang Ranch once. Yes. Yeah. Once. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, um, did I go by myself or did I go with somebody else? I think I went with somebody else. And, uh, he, you know, he went in there and was going to go see, do, sow his wild oats. And I'm sitting out there, and the women are hanging out, and they're chatting you up, trying to get, you know, you to go off with them. So I decided I had never done that, had that experience before. It never appealed to me. You know, I always liked, when it came to sex, I always liked the uh, pursuit, as it were which today I'd probably pick the hooker over pursuit because it's less trouble. Yep. But, um, so, but, but I figured I'd never, I've never experienced this before. So maybe I should, I should experience it. Okay. So I went and I did it and it was the most unsexual thing I've ever done in my life that was passed off as sex. You know, I just, it just didn't, it didn't, uh, didn't appeal to me particularly. And then I had my friend who owned the Mustang, the uh, the uh, Bunny Ranch. He, uh, um, Dennis it? Hoff. Yeah, Dennis Hoff. Dennis. Uh, and Hoff. Uh, it, it, you know he owned the Bunny Ranch, and I would go see him all the time, and I would hang out there, and he'd say, "Look, any woman you want here, half price, because I have to pay them something, so you just pay half of whatever, and I won't take my cut at all, anything you want." And I, even with that offer, I never took him up on it. Never did. He always used to like to say, Alex has never taken me up on my offer, you know. Oh, man. That's cold. What do you mean it's cold? It's cold. It's kind of like saying, you know, Alex couldn't get an erection with the most beautiful no, that wasn't that what no, that wasn't what he was that saying. Was he, that wasn't what he oh. was saying. What he was saying oh. is he was amazed that I could be at the Mustang Ranch. Uh, not the Mustang Ranch, but the uh, Moonlight Bunny Ranch, and that I could yeah. just not do anything there, even when offered it. Okay, uh, which was a, it, and it was a, it was a nice offer. You know, I, I thanked him for it. Was always appreciative of it, but it just never appealed to me. And I had a friend, my friend Paul Montgomery, who uh, was one of the people that ran uh, Play TV, a uh, Play Incorporated. Play TV was part of it, and I used to go over there with him because he liked to go there. So I would take him over, and then I would hang out with Dennis, and he would go in and do whatever he was going to do, uh, which never was anything. I always asked him. I said, "What did you do once you got in there?" And he said, "Talk to her." I said, "What?" I said, and "Then uh, did you pay her afterwards?" Yeah, I paid her four hundred, five hundred bucks. For talking with her? And he said, uh, yeah, he said, I just wanted to talk, you know. She was naked, you know. Just wanted to talk with her, you know. And I said, well, wh you know, what's that all about? And he said, just the power, you know. I like talking to him, too, like get your teeth off of it, that type of thing. Yeah, no, I'm sure. You, have you ever been to one of those places? Yes. Yes. Mustang, Mustang Ranch. Mustang twice. Ranch. And and did you find that particularly uh, a sexual experience? Oh, absolutely. It was great. Really? Some of, the most, some of the most beautiful women I ever saw that week. Really? Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Because uh, I, I well the one I had that I remember I think was kind of okay. You know she there wasn't uh, she wasn't uh, uh, unattractive or anything like that. But you know it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're in town there, you want to see beautiful women go into the casinos. Uh, there's some theory that if there's beautiful women dealing cards, men tend to congregate and spend more money. 
Yeah, but also mm -hmm. if you go into the uh, the casinos, you can probably be chatted up by a hooker too there, rather than sure. have to I go all the so. way over to the Mustang Ranch. Yeah, sure. The bars, the hooker bars. Well, Might be cheaper to go to the uh, Mustang Ranch than sit in a casino and get chatted. I up. can't remember how much the Mustang Ranch cost, but it was something like a hundred bucks or something. It wasn't wasn't a lot of money, you know. But I just I just uh, I found it just a non experience. You know, I just, it just, I couldn't be honest with you. That I'm not trying to insult you, but I couldn't see what anybody saw in it. You know, there was no oh, pursual. Oh. You know, I want to know that when somebody has sex with me, it's because I chatted them up and they were interested. But as I say, in this day and age, you maybe don't want to do that <clears> because <throat> look what's happening to Cuomo, and he was chatting up women. You know, so yeah, yeah, and then some. Yeah, and then some. So is anybody else going to call tonight here? Let's get a little mix up here. How about people who have never called this program before? Or never listened to it. Or never listened to it and listened to How it for the they first know time. About it. Yeah. yeah. How they know? You know. <laughs> Your uh, friend tells you. That's yeah. how I found out but about But I this. just find that we haven't been getting a lot of people lately listening. E hmm. Either before the show or after There's the lots show. Lots of people are listening. Huh? What would you say, Charlie? I think we just lost Charlie. Yeah, there's a lot of people that, that, that are like in the chat room and stuff that are there every day, but they don't call. Yeah, they don't, do they? Like Mike Redshaw. I never, ever heard him call the program. Uh, let me see here. Oh, well, Charlie Wallace is there. Brian Neary. Well, how about Scorpio Plus? Yeah. Ten. You know, <laughs> these people just sit there lurking. Uh, but, you know, if you're watching us right now and you don't know how to get on here, just go over to gabnet.net. And uh, 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 over on the right-hand side, in the middle of that page, is the thing that says, click here to Zoom us. And all you have to do is click that, and, it, and you will immediately ring over here, and we can put you on, and you can join us and be part of the fun. Boy, yeah, is this fun. Anyway... <laughs> Where, where's Smart Ryan when we need him? Smart who? I don't know. Wasn't that the kid's name, Smart Ryan? I don't know. I don't think that oh, was a kid. kid. I don't think that was a kid. Yes, Do was. you? Yeah. <clears throat> I think so. Do you think it was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then how come he didn't call more? You would think <laughs> that time. probably made him go to bed. Yeah, that time. You would think if he was a kid, he'd be interested. Uh, he he was hung up on manners. Brian kept licking the spoon. <laughs> that was funny when he brought that up. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know, it, it's like there's almost nothing to talk about these days. You know, uh, the only thing that happened today is that we have a new attorney general. And the new yes. person for EPA. Oh, really? Okay. EPA, the person with the... Uh, Biden's cabinet member got approved by the Senate, too, and, both of them. And the new attorney general is a guy that uh, the Republicans didn't even want to hear from when it came to Supreme Court justice. Yep. Um, what's his name? Um, oh, God, my mind's in Bob. blank. Huh? Marlon. Huh? Um, John. Starts with a G. Garrick. 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 Gar 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 Garfield. Greg? Garland. Uh, Garland. Uh, Garland. <laughs> no, Merrick, Merrick Garland. Garland. Yeah, Merrick yeah. Garland. Merrick Garland. Garlic. I mean, they didn't want him. For, they wouldn't even listen to him for the yep. Supreme Court, right? They wouldn't give him the decency. That's why I don't want to hear this bipartisan bullshit. Well, wait a minute. Yep. What happened today was bipartisan. 30 members on the Republican side voted for him. I know, but... Five years ago, they wouldn't they wouldn't oh. give them the time of day. Oh, I think this was their guilt complex catching up with them. Different job, too. Yeah, a different job. But, you big, know. Big, big difference. Mm -hmm. Big difference. This job, believe it or not, is a job, I believe, for 10 years. Uh, no. The last the attorney next, general it? left. Well, he left. It yeah, it depends on how long he wants to stay. Is no, it? that's the FBI that's 10 years. Oh, is it 10 years as the FBI? Okay. Yeah, that's well, not, not necessarily. The also, the post office is 10 years. Really? But we can the, but we can fire him. They can get, can the pres him, president yeah. can get rid of him. 
Um, you know, you're serving at the. Uh, especially for doing the crap he did. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about the uh, senator in uh, Mississippi who was bragging about passing the co uh, the you know the stimulus bill, mm -hmm. and he was bragging about how good it's going to be for restaurants in his district, but he voted against it. He didn't vote for yeah. it, but he's bragging about how good it's going to be for the restaurants in his district. I mean, in his state. What a fucking idiot. Yeah. I mean, I, he, he, he thinks his constituents are so stupid that they're not going to know that he voted against it. Well, uh, that's a good point. They probably are. That's true, yeah. <laughs> wow. Mississippi. Yeah. No, I, I you know, I mean, I, 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 uh, it, it's amazing to me that those guys just don't, you know, don't know what's happening. You know, I mean, how can they not vote for the stimulus package? It's not only going to help Democrats, it's going to help Republicans, too. It helps everybody. They just don't want to give away to the Democrats. Yeah. It, well, it's kind of like, I'm so sick of this. If the Democrats are for it, they've got to be against it. If they're yeah. Yeah. for it, the Democrats have got to be against it. I mean, come on, whatever happened to some people coming over to the good side? Like what they did with Garland today. I mean, they actually, that that was cooperation, wouldn't you say? Yes. You know, and uh, it was nice to see. Because what have you got bad to say about Merrick Garland? This is a good guy, okay? He's a really good guy. Hi, Kevin. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, it's not really the same as the Democrats as the Republicans because there were there were hundreds of Democrats that voted for the Republican stimulus last a year ago. A lot of Democrats voted for that. Not one Republican voted for the stimulus this time. And and basically, the that's a big difference. Except yeah. for the fact that this this didn't go and help uh, big corporations like the mm -hmm. other one did. This mm -hmm. bill was pretty much like the old one. So what did the Republicans see wrong with this one that they saw right with the other one, in spite of the fact the other one was a little lopsided towards big business? Yeah. You know? Uh, and what about and what about the idiot that spread it out page by page to slow it down? To the reading of it in the yeah. Senate. He didn't read it himself. Yeah. Uh, obviously. Yeah, probably can't. But read. If they if they want to do that, they should read it. They shouldn't have their clerks do it. Right, right. Well, you know what uh, Marjorie and I did tonight that we haven't Ron done. In, 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 what? 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 Go ahead. We're losing Charlie. Oh, well, like, or, Charlie's in and out. I think. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, um, the, what we did tonight it, for the first time in a year, okay, almost a year to the date. Uh, we actually went out and had dinner indoors at a restaurant. Ooh. And I think I'm coming down with COVID now. Uh, <laughs> no, I think the the the, the uh, having gotten the shot and everything kind of has made us a little more, you know, ready to do something like that. You know, and so you have mm -hmm. you have an internet problems, Charlie, tonight and last night. You're kind of jerky your movements and your voice and stuff i don't know what's going on my box is flickering over here i don't know why it's doing that yeah, that's what she know. said it was last night too the <laughs> shots of vaccine <laughs> yeah yeah that's it yeah. do you know they lowered the uh, age of uh, of consent for the for the vaccine <laughs> in, to 60. In, <laughs> in in new york to 60 they lowered it to sixty now, huh? How about that? I thought yeah. they were run I thought they were running out of stuff. No, 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 no. I think Alaska lowered it to sixteen, but that was the age of consent. You know? That's what you just said, Alex. <laughs> What'd you say, Alan? That's what you just said. Age of consent in New York. They lowered yeah, it to yeah. sixty. Yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, they lowered it to 60, and I'm going, wait a minute, it was 65, wasn't it? What's so? Yeah. What, what's such a big deal about 60? A couple million people? No, not that many. No. Okay. No, yeah. no, you know. 
I mean, and, uh, and, and I would imagine there were people 60 who were like sneaking in there using some kind of excuse, like I'm taking care of my mother or whatever, you know. I mean, and uh, I mean, like, for instance, we got we got Kevin here, who got his shot because he uh, he's been taking care of his mother. So he's a caregiver. Right. 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 Kevin. Yeah. 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 And they didn't. didn't do, what what did you have to do to prove that? Just say you were and that's it. Yeah. No, I I took him my certificate certification and all that oh, stuff. Oh, okay, all right. And I had to go through some hoops, but I got it. Oh, okay. I I thought maybe all you had to do was just you know say it. You know. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, we're starting. I had my hmm? I had my second shot five thirty. Really? Okay. Yeah. Which which did you get? Pfizer. Pfizer. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you may not have the problems that Alex and I had. I didn't have any problems. Did you have a problem, Charlie? Oh, maybe it was Marjorie. Marjorie, Marjorie had, had a problem. But you know she what they say? They really say that women guy. are having problems more than guys are. Hmm. Uh, uh, I just, I did just felt a little like my, both my shoulders ache. Not, not here, but here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt um, somewhat, uh, what do you call it? Uh, f f um, tired, okay. But then the next day I was fine. But Marjorie claimed she was going through a lot. She was feeling achy and all of that. But you know, that one only lasted a day too. And it's a small price to pay for being, you oh, know, yeah. ino you know, inoculated. Um, so somebody, somebody. But no, what I wanted to say is going out to dinner tonight in a restaurant and not having that fear Okay, that would have accompanied mm -hmm. it had I done it anyway without the mm -hmm. shot uh, was a great feeling. You know, it really was. Now, what were we going to say, Alan? I, I heard some good news. Somebody on uh, one of the medical blogs from JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, mm -hmm. and get some good information off of. Uh, the guy's a uh, PhD in virology, world renowned. Mm -hmm. He said that half the Republicans in this country said they're not going to get the shot. As far as I'm concerned, that's good news. You know, it, it, yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll take longer for herd immunity. But if there's a lot less Republicans in the country, that's OK with me. They always say that. They say that and they still get it. OK, now, wait a minute. Now, now in, te in Texas, where Charlie lives. They have gone to no masks, 100% uh, occupancy in restaurants. And I just noticed that Charlie wrote down here that you had 213 deaths today. Yep. Uh, you know, we only had like 58 or something like that in New York, which is a state that's much larger in population than Texas. You know, that's awfully well. Low. It's it's. You know, I think but that's going to Texas be had one seventh of all the deaths. Uh, one seventh of all the deaths in the country today. In well, today, the country, uh, yeah. Texas had one seventh of all the deaths. So, in other words, today, huh? They're, they're, uh, they announced uh, the Texas Rangers uh, baseball team on opening day. They're going to have a hundred percent full stadium. Yeah, her oh, fifty thousand people in the ballpark, whatever, whatever it holds. That's not good. That's not good. You know, I mean, look. Yes, things are getting better, but they're not going to get better if we keep acting like this. They're only going to get worse. I mean, you're going to see. Yeah. You're going to see a spike in Texas. I'm sure of it. Oh yeah. You know, just be glad you're inoculated now. <laughs> Just be glad that yeah. you you really probably can't catch it, all right? But they're going to be well, a what lot about, of... Uh, what have they said about uh, the Dallas Stars? That's an indoor hockey. They're they're playing right now. Are they going to let them in? Yeah. Um, Everything's wonder. opened up. Yeah. Everything's there are open. no restrictions on anything. Movie theaters, wide hey. open. So you can go to a hockey game. Restaurants, okay. wide open. Yeah. I heard CNN radio this morning on the way to work, yep. though. They said that even though everything is open, they say they they haven't seen any restaurants that are having people with no masks. They're still asking for people with masks. So even if there's this nation or the statewide thing, the restaurants are still trying to be careful. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, at least I, in the area they were talking about. But, yeah, the grocery but, stores, yeah, grocery grocery but stores. they're not. They're they're letting a hundred percent of their people in, even though they're mm -hmm. saying you have to wear a mask, but you can't wear a mask when you're eating. Right. So, uh, you know, if uh, how many of them are saying no? Only fifty percent, or only twenty-five percent? We don't care what the governor says. Um. You know, I mean, I I I realize these people are anxious to make a buck. But when they're anxious to make a butt buck to the detriment of the health of their patrons, I have to question that. I really do. You know, it's a pretty terrible, terrible thing to do. Um, so I mean, I you know, it's it's uh, I I think it's amazing how yeah. bad it is right now. You know, uh, and what's happening in Texas is yeah, and I think Florida's doing it. I think that Massachusetts just opened up to full. Yeah, I think Boston. Yeah. Yeah. They had like five or six places I heard today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I worry for uh, for um, you know my friend up there, uh, Steve Kravitz, because he hasn't been able to get a shot yet. He's he's just turned sixty five and he's able to get a shot, but now he's got to go find one. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And and look, Jeff's coming down with COVID. <laughs> Just heard that. <laughs> you know what you do? What, what we should do is just, you know, we all have our shots. We, You and I and Pamela, Marjorie, we'll all go into a restaurant. We know we're fine. Okay? Right? And then we'll start coughing like crazy. <laughs> the, I, I, was in a rest, I, I was in a restaurant last night eating in there, mm -hmm. and my roommate coughed a couple times, and the people standing next to us, and I said to him, you've had that cough ever since you came back from China, and they got away from us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my that's my that's my sarcastic charm. And they were they could not believe it. Yeah. By the way, Charlie's I, got a big yawn right now. Look at that. I think he's got tonsillitis. And, and he froze frozen. and he froze in mid yawn. With his mouth wide open. That's a great picture. I think, yeah, he really? was laughing. I think he was laughing at you. Yeah, I'm sure. I've got to freeze frame that when I'm through with the show. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> are you there, Charlie? Hear you, but your no, they, there you are, Charlie. Now you're not. You, 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 did you yawn? Was that a yawn or were you? No, no I was laughing. Oh, I he was see. laughing at what I said. I was laughing. Oh, boy. Hey, your your, I'm your have picture to call got stuck with your mouth and, though. Say, and complain about this. Yeah, well, you know, it's Spectrum. What can I say? You know. Um, let me see here. Oh, it, it ain't, now, it, it, anybody been following what's going on now in England with the Queen and everybody over no. the Harry, Ma Meghan Markle? Yeah, and the, uh, what, the Pierce, Pierce Morgan? Pierce Morgan? Yeah, Piers Morgan. Oh, yeah quit the show he was on, Rick. which I wouldn't suggest he do because he had no career anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I you didn't know. know he was still on, but he's on over there now. Over there he had the morning show, this, other, this more Good Morning America type show that he's on. And I guess somebody got in his face and he got up and said, I quit. And he got up and left. And he supposedly has quit the show. Yep. You know. And everybody said, okay. Yeah, here's okay. the door. Yeah. Uh, can yeah, I open the door you. for you? Yeah. The guy said, we have to sit here and listen to you every day talk about that stuff. So right when we say it, and this is when he was walking out, you know, he said, or he said, geez, you know, we have to listen to you every day and you can't listen to us. And he's walking away. Well, I mean, the thing is, he was like, oh, standing up for the queen. And how can you do this? Because uh, Prince Philip, who is, by the way, 99 years old. Wow. Um, and uh, he's been in the hospital for four weeks. Um, how can how could they do that kind of interview with with uh, Prince Philip in the hospital? What <laughs> you know? I mean, they were willing to talk about this, and they felt it was important to talk about. Uh, and and then he he said something. Piers Morgan said something to the effect of, "And how can you do this to the? How can you say this about the Queen? I'm sure she isn't a racist." Well, they didn't say anything about her being a racist. In fact, they specifically said that Philip and the Queen weren't the ones that made these racist statements. And then, in fact, the Queen, according to Megan, 
was absolutely wonderful to her, you know, but it was somebody else in the royal family. So my question is, who do you think it is? The dog. <laughs> I, oh. thi I, I think I think I think I think it could Charles. be the Charles or William. Yeah. Charles. yeah, I think so. Maybe both. Well, uh, we think Charles, <laughs> but it could have been William. You know, uh, it, 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 there's an outside chance it could be Edward, but I don't think he's even around there much anymore. Ever since uh, the Jeffrey, uh, uh, what do you call it, scandal? Yeah. Um, you know. So. Uh, um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, but he's not their son, really. Anyways, right? He's not Prince Charles's son. Well, you know, the, here we go again with the Ronan with the Ronan Farrell talk. Well, it's, it's a it's the a red hair and the complexion. It, it, Come it, on, really? It, it, well, <laughs> she, didn't she have a bodyguard who was yeah. had red hair <laughs> yeah. and looks a lot like Harry? Yes. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, there's, there's, right, yeah. There, there, yeah, it's a Ronan Farrow situation. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I mean, um, plus, you know, what did, what in the world, they, they were not smart because what in the world does Harry have to lose by giving an interview like that? He's never going to become king. Mm -hmm. Come on. He's so far removed from being king now. It's ridiculous. You know, well, why would you want to be king anyway? Yeah. Well, because you get a lot of free stuff. No, you still get free right. stuff as, as him right now. What, yeah. What, what, do you, what would he get more of? You know? Yeah, really. Yeah. 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 You didn't watch that, did you, Kevin? The interview? No, I didn't. They re-ran it again tonight on ABC. Oh, shit, I wanted to watch it, but oh, well, I'll find it somewhere. <laughs> do you know, do you know, yeah, yeah, do you know? I'm doing my hair. Do you know how many viewers they got? 17 million. Wow. Um, yeah, they got the more people watching them than watch the Golden Globes this year. Oh, so, yeah. Or the Trump speech. Or the Trump speech. Or anything. <laughs> I think I think the reason a lot of people watch this is it was the it was the only thing they could watch that didn't affect them personally. And they could kind of get involved in. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? After watching The Crown, they probably said, let's see the real thing. Yeah, let's see the real thing. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's kind of a, uh, uh, it, it kind of was, I think, a relief for the American public to be able to worry about somebody else's political problems for a change rather than our own. Yeah. Um, I, the, the right, English right-wingers over there, man, they are, they're, 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 they're crazy. I they're mean, hardcore. You know, yeah, they're very hardcore over there. Yeah. And they're very pro-Queen, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Um, I mean, I for years, I've been saying I never... It, when I went... The first time I went to England, I said, I can't see any reason why they have a Queen here and a King. Why they have the monarchy. Uh, <laughs> but it gives them something, I don't know, to focus on during wartime or to say we're, we're fighting for the honor of the queen, King and Queen. But I mean, these are just people who are completely spoiled. They're racist. They, they do you know, that in they're, other countries. They're colonizers. Too. What? They do it in other countries. They do it for the emperor. They fight for the emperor in Japan. Yeah. Other countries do it other ways. But know? I mean, the amount of money it costs the uh, the British people to maintain the monarchy is ridiculous. It's astronomical. Yep. Yep. And these people have all the money in the world. I mean, one of the reasons they're, 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 they're the kings and queens of that country is because of all the property they own. Sure. You know? So, I mean, they're, you know, they, you could just say, to hell with it. We don't need this anymore. You know, take care of yourself. You will, if you want to say you're the king and queen, fine. You, you come down that line. But we're not going to honor it. But no, they go along with it. They're all for it. I think. They, is there any other country that still has a king and queen? Yeah, Monica. those, uh, yeah, those kind of African countries, you know, like, like what are they, Congo or, uh, you know, those ones on the, on the the west side of Africa. Those are some of the most corrupt monarchs in the world. I mean, you got the whole country starving, and the fucking kings are driving around, and you know. Well, I think uh, no, I think what you're talking about. 
it's not really Africa as much as the Arabian countries. The, uh, the you know. Oh yeah. 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 Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I mean, those people are just terrible. They're just mm -hmm. horrible. They'd let their people starve before they'd starve. You know. It's ridiculous. And they're like our last president. Mm hmm. Well, you know, he was kind of in bed with them, yeah. wasn't he? Yes. Mm. Yeah. So Maybe my not. eyes are also, my eyes are burning today, and you're going to say why. But they have been doing something in this building that I, I don't know if they do that in other cities, but it's a thing called pointing in which they put up scaffolds on a building and they go up and down and they drill out all the loose... Uh, uh, stuff between bricks, right? And then uh, I guess mortar. they, huh? Mortar, mortar, mortar. yeah, because it comes loose after a while, after maybe twenty years, and they they get rid of all the loose mortar, and I guess they put new mortar in, and it's called pointing. They have been drilling and drilling and drilling, and it's driving me crazy because. I sleep till ten o'clock in the morning, and I haven't been able to sleep and uh, get uh, sleep until ten o'clock because this thing—they keep drilling and they keep hammering. It's terrible. And then what it does is it creates a dust. In fact, I can tell it creates a dust because I have a, um, um, a air purifier, right? And it's got a little mm. round ring on it, and it changes color when the air quality gets bad. And sometimes when I'm cooking in the kitchen and the place gets too smoky, it'll like get red and whatever. It got red the last couple of days just from the goddamn dust. Wow. That's coming up. And my eyes are burning and it's really it really sucks. And I'm I can't to seal the cracks around your window so the dust doesn't come in. Well, I mean, Marjorie likes to keep the window open. Open. Oh. Oops. Mm. That's one thing. There was also another thing where we just got some like cardboard or something covering up where an air conditioner was. I got to put some plastic in there, and they they were cleaning out and dusting, right, with an air thing, and Impressive. it blew all the dust into the apartment. You know, so I mean, my eyes have been burning, and it's terrible. It's horrible. Yeah. yeah. So that's all the excitement, folks. Where what are the numbers like? Oh well. <laughs> What else can I do to chase the audience away? <laughs> so, um, um, what what are you all going to do with your free time now that you've got? What if you you've had two shots already, right, Alan? Yes. Okay. So, what have you been doing <laughs> that's different? Oh uh, well, I'm going to go back to San Francisco and uh, hang out with friends and smoke cigars. Okay. Are these other people who've had the shots? Yeah. Okay. Because you should only hang out with people who've had the shots. Well, that's what they say. That's mainly for their protection, not yours. But yeah, that, that's they don't know about that either with the variants and stuff. We don't need to get. Well, the out, variants so. aren't supposedly a problem. Supposedly, if you've got these shots, you're pretty well protected against them. They're not quite sure. It, so, it, the the main variant that they're worried about right now is the South African variant, mm -hmm. and the only way to find out if it works is keep giving people injections. And if the people that are fully vaccinated don't get sick, then 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 the vaccines are working. Well, they say that the uh, Brit the British variant isn't a problem, that you won't get that. You're protected against it. Well, they think that that's the primary variant that's going on in this country, especially the past six weeks in New York and why their numbers are going up. Well, the numbers haven't they, they've gone down, but they're not going down sufficiently. And you know. nowhere in the country is going down so Well, there are parts of the country where it's really dropping pretty pretty low. But those are the people who are also getting who, people are also getting a little too emboldened yeah. and are playing oh, with fire. Uh, France yeah. is having a big outbreak again. It's um, ramping up. Yep. Paris is really bad. Yep. Why do they say yeah, that's happening there? Did they? I thought they closed everything down. Yeah, but it's coming back. I don't know why. I, I just heard about it on the radio today. A steel day celebrations. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're gonna, you know, I, I would bet in the next month or two, we're going to see the fourth round of this uh, because we've only got 10% of the people vaccinated. And 
you know, four or five percent of the country has a natural immunity to it by actually having COVID and recovered. And people are acting stupid, like not wearing masks, not social distancing, like it's all over. And this is going to come back big time in the next month. New York, New York is, I think, 20 percent vaccinated. Really? 20 percent have had the first shot. I Old think state? only 9% have had the second shot, or 9, 9.9% have had the second okay. shot. Yeah. yeah. So, Good. I mean, at least that's something. You oh, know? absolutely. I mean, uh, and what, what I think has amazed me is that uh, our president, when he was running, said, in my first 100 days, I'm going to give him 100 million shots. And I thought that was overstating it a bit like how are you going to be able to live up to this we're going to make a hundred million by 50 days yeah we're, two, we're doing two million a day now yeah yeah so yeah. it looks like it's going to be cool you know Good. in that i respect. hope so yeah, did you hear what trump do. uh trump said today on his one of his little uh presidential uh notes well, where where is he a, publishing these things now? Because he hasn't got an outlet smoke anymore. Signals. Smoke Somebody signals. Smoke signals. <laughs> what? Don't forget, if it wasn't for me, uh, there wouldn't be any uh, vaccine. It'd be five no. years before there'd be a vaccine out there. <laughs> he, you know, he he uh, he should be a big enough of a businessman to know that, in spite of anything that he did, there was going to be a vaccine as soon as possible because. Money talks yeah. and nobody walks, okay? And these mm -hmm. guys were all, and, and look, you know, Brian's in that business, you know. You know that they were all just working their asses off to be the first ones on the block because there was a profit to be made from this. Yeah. So for him to say that he had anything to do with it, they were just working on this the day that they knew there was a problem. He's an extremely sick person. He's a very sick person. And the fact that anybody still defends him, I mean, uh, some of these Republicans who are still getting up and going, what a great guy he is, and how he's, you know, I mean, come on. Lindsey Graham, for crying out loud. Remember when we were all saying, uh, as soon as Trump's gone, they would all be saying, who, Trump who? But we were wrong. Well, he's not getting the, 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 he's not getting the juice that he was getting, you know? Yeah. I mean, as each day passes by, people are paying less attention to him. That's true, yeah. And he has no outlets. He's he's appealing to Twitter and Facebook to let him back on. And no, so Twitter didn't. Huh? Twitter didn't get one. He's not on Twitter. Twitter is uh, hasn't let him back on. You know. No. Uh, is he on what about malaria? Is malaria still with him? Yeah, they're still together. I guess. Have they been seen together? Have they been seen together in public, though? Have no. you guys seen her? Well, I no. don't. I, haven't. I don't know. I love, I love it. Malaria. <laughs> that's from Alex. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, 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 I, actually, I haven't heard that. That's funny. No, I got that from uh, what's his name? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel calls her no, malaria. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Malaria. yeah. She was the that's, first one. To remember, call we malaria. made those. We made those predictions on how long they'll last. I said, yeah. when you see them leave, that'll be the last time you see them together. Right, right. Well, right. Uh, we don't know. You know, I mean, well, of course, he, she wasn't seen at the CPAC nope. thing. Uh, who knows? You know, I'm sure. Look, I'm sure she's fed up because her name is Mud. Yeah. I mean, these people can't even come back to New York. All right. You mm -hmm. would have thought the first place he would have headed out once he left Washington was not Mar-a-Lago, but to Trump Tower. Because they have an apartment there, you know, that's their Last living week. space. What? Last week he did go to Trump Tower, and there was like one person waiting there. <laughs> really? He did go there? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I saw it on um, the Daily Beast. <laughs> they had a film of it. There's like one person on the standing on the on the street, and they showed him waving at him. <laughs> well, I think they've taken Little away. flag. <laughs> I, th yeah. I think they've taken away all the protection they had there. Because, you know, we were paying... What was it? Two hundred two hundred thousand dollars a week to protect that place? Something, Something yeah. like that's an amazing amount of money, and it was he, coming out he, of the pockets of New Yorkers. He still has Secret Service protection for the rest of his life, so uh, if he yeah. wants it. If he doesn't want it, he doesn't have to take it. 
Yeah, he's stupid enough to probably say no. No, I if I were him, I would take it. I would take it. I would too. They have they have a great meme right now. It's a golf empty golf course. They show empty golf course, and it says Joe Biden just saved U.S. U.S. citizens six hundred thousand dollars from not golfing today. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how this weekend? It, it, truthfully, though, is that how much it cost us every day that he went there to golf? I know they say weekend. <clears throat> no, it was nine hundred thousand because he had a plane trip too. Nine hundred thousand dollars to go play golf. Yep. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. A lot of secret service. Yep. Between he spent like a hundred and fifty million dollars. Then he cheated Golfing. in golf. So it's not even. <laughs> Yeah. Those videos of him hitting the ball, and then he goes to pick it up, and he sort of hits it in the right way in the hole and gets it out of the hole. Oh my God! <laughs> <He's> <laughs> gonna, he, the, the last guy to cheat that ba- to cheat that badly was Oric Goldfinger, <laughs> if you remember the movie. Yeah. yeah. Went down for a one under eagle. <laughs> <laughs> but James Bond caught him because he was playing at Schlesinger. Yeah. Here yeah. too. Yeah. Boy, you remember that, huh? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm a golf. I used to be a golfer. I thought I, I, my favorite golfing movie is Caddyshack. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a classic. I love where Ted, uh, where uh, Rodney Dangerfield hits the ball and it goes the wrong direction, and he's yelling four four and it hits Ted Knight in the groin. He says, "Maybe I should have yelled two." <laughs> Oh boy! So is Rocky there tonight? I guess Rocky is there, right, uh, Trucker Steve? He's right here. Oh, there he is. There hey, he is. Hey, Rocky. Yeah. 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 He does he like traveling with you? I mean, is he, or or is he resentful? Oh, he's fine. Yeah. He's yeah. Fine. Yeah. So he really likes it. Okay. He just gets to sleep a lot. My dog used to ride with me all the time. Really? In the truck. Did he enjoy yeah. it? She loved it, yeah. yeah. She probably loved being with you. You know. She just didn't like getting slammed up against the dash when I hit the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> they do that little doggy tap dance, don't they? She'd be up there on the seat, and all of a sudden I had to hit the brakes, and she'd go, bam, up against the dashboard. <laughs> she'd get right back up on the seat. You yeah. should have yelled... Prepare but you know, it's funny, she'd be laying on the seat for hours on the you passenger know, side, I'm never, always, I'm always never a, move, yeah. and then all of a sudden we'd get back close to home and boom, she'd pop up. I'm always amazed when I see Trucker Steve's uh, place in his truck where he sleeps and everything, because it looks to me like a cubicle at an office, doesn't it? When you're yeah. sitting here looking at it here. It's like a bunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. yeah. You got a TV in there too? Well, of course, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, 32 inch cool. portable toilet. No. Uh, no. So, so would you just take showers at those truck stop shower places? Oh, my the bunk isn't that big. Wow. Right. Just take showers at those. Are truck there stop are there people places? though that have have trucks that are big enough that they do have toilets and they do have a lot of amenities? Yeah, there's a company called ARI that. Uh, just, Designs uh, uh, trucks with the uh, oven range. Yeah. Uh, uh, with toilet and the shower. Wow. Nice. Oh, that's, that's more crap like, you got, like, the less you can haul, though. It, it, it's like a camper, like an RV. Okay. Right. But, like the, the big super site bunks. But it's, wow. it's, it's all contained within the cab of the truck, which you could make, I guess, as big as you want to or as little as you want to. And then that... Yeah, bolt... you, can get, you can get them up to a 180-inch uh, bunk mm-hmm. uh, that I've seen. I follow their Facebook page, so I've seen some of the work that they do. It's pretty nice. Pretty expensive, though, right? Yep. Yeah, the trucks are probably... Well over two hundred thousand, almost three hundred. Now we're and we're just talking about the cab, right? Because obviously that's all that you want to have, because the rest of it hauls the the load, right? The the load is then attached to your truck, and you go with it, right? 
I yeah. think trucker, truckers call that the tractor, the front cab. The front cab is the tractor, and what's the back part called? Trailer. The trailer. But the more, the more, more tractor you got, the less you can haul. Okay. The more weight you put up front, the less you can put in the back. So you really want kind of a snub nose kind of. That's front. why you you usually see you know day tractors that got nothing on them. They can put more in the back. I see. Okay. Why? Why? I would think that if you had a bigger tractor in the front, you could pull a bigger load in the back. But that isn't true. No, because there's there's weight restrictions on the road. Yeah. And and, yeah. and I start depending to, on where you are. And I start, in California, you can't haul shit. I start to laugh after. <laughs> I start to laugh every time I say load. So excuse me. Yeah. You know. shit you would. They showed on this on the TV show uh, Bucky's is that in Texas, right? Bucky's, they had like the one of the largest uh, truck stops. They were showing. Yeah, well, well you all see, over Texas. Well, yeah. the other night, uh, 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 trucker Steve was talking about the largest truck stop in the United States is where again? Uh, Walcott, Iowa, on Iowa eighty. Now, why why Walcott, Iowa? I mean, is that like a crossroads of everything? It's just a small town, but there's a there's a couple of truck stops. There's two pilots and a big giant TA there. Oh, okay. And and that's the big basically the biggest truck stop in the country. They claim it's the biggest one in the world. Wow. What's that, what year, what's that one in Wyoming? You, you ever been to that one? It's called the Best Western. <laughs> well, there, which one? There's there's quite a few. There's oh, little, there little some, America. That was humor. Yeah, that's it. Little America. Yeah. I stopped there one time. Oh, okay. Um, on, on, on my motorcycle. Oh. I, they, I, I went, took a shower there on my, on my motorcycle. Yeah. I, I was always told that if you wanted to get the best food anywhere, always stop at a truck stop. And <laughs> I learned my lesson. I will never yeah. eat another truck stop again. <laughs> that, that's uh, why when you go to the cashier at the truck stop, yeah. You have all the antacid, Pepto Bismol. Well, no, but they said that you, the, the the truck drivers would know where all the good food was. And I went to one of these truck stops, and it was nothing but grease on a plate. I mean, it was just tons of this stuff that was just. It, no wonder, you know, people who drive trucks have a tendency to gain weight. Not only are they not moving around and getting exercise, but they're eating that goddamn food on the road. <clears throat> Tell me I'm wrong, Kevin. I ain't gonna tell you you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it wasn't the best food I ever had. You know, so they, good old comfort food. It's comfort food. It's supposed to fill you up. You know, it does. Yeah, God did it ever, and it, it also did something to my stomach. You don't have line. to eat for miles. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You better know where the bathroom is. The next, the next bathroom is. Well, that's another uh, four, uh, two hour, hour and a half of my life completely used up. There you uh, go. Uh, I can, oh. I can see my life ticking away as we do this program. Uh, but uh, thank Dave, you, Dave. thank you, Alan, for joining us this evening. I hope something exciting happens in the news tomorrow. I hope there's some major tragedy we can talk about. Uh, Oh, oh, uh, uh, Trucker okay. Steve. The president's supposed to speak. Thank you, Steve. Uh, thank you to Brian Neary. Always good having you here. You're, uh, you always fill the panel very nicely. Same thing to you, Charlie Wallace and Jeff Stein and John Larkin. And, of course, the inimitable Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. I really appreciate it. Everybody give a big wave a goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. There's our citizen panel. Uh, that's what they look like. And uh, uh, you can be part of it tomorrow night just by going over to gabnet.net. And over on the right-hand side of the place, this page, it says, Zoom us! Well, Zoom us, okay? That's it for tonight. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, right back here, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. And get vaccinated, too, while you're at it.